bourguignon is now in the oven, 325 for about two and a half to three hours. So you've got some time, you don't have to do this immediately, but we're gonna start with the onions. The recipe calls for some pearl onions as well as mushrooms to be added to the dish after. I mean, that alone is fantastic. So if you don't wanna go on with this step, you don't need to. But what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of olive oil to the pot, or my pan here, as well as butter. One for the heat and butter for the flavor and get that melted. Now, if you're gonna do your own pearl onions from raw, that's gonna be a little time consuming. But I love to buy the already frozen, peeled, done, ready for me. So this will only take, the recipe says the other onions, the uh, raw ones, they'll take about 40 to 50 minutes to cook through. This will only take about 10 minutes. So I love that. When my butter's melted, I'm gonna add the frozen pearl onions into my pan and this is the most amazing side dish of onions. I know it sounds weird, but I mean they are so good that I'm actually gonna cook two packages while I'm doing this because they are so good. Just as a side dish for some other dish, but I'll probably put all of this into that um, beef bourguignon because I've doubled and almost tripled that recipe anyway. So, because again, I like to just make so much when I do it. We're gonna let this simmer for a few minutes and then I'm going to add, which I'm gonna do right now just for time's sake and you can do this at home too, some beef stock or beef broth again to this and let this simmer. And I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme and parsley and salt and pepper. And then we'll just let this go for, oh, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the onions with the mushrooms. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil to my pan as well as butter and I'll get that melting. Oh, one thing I didn't add to my onions, a bay leaf. I'll go ahead and throw that in. And then I'm just going to quarter or half a bunch of mushrooms and add that to the pan. And then we'll season those as well. Okay, three hours later, let's see how that's looking. It smells amazing. Like I said, not quick, but certainly easy. Alrighty, take this out. And then I'm gonna just add, well, one thing you wanna check on is the thickness of the sauce, because at this point, mine is beautifully thick. I mean, look at that. Just thick and perfect. Now, if it was too runny, I could put this on the stove top and reduce the sauce down, let that cook for 15 minutes. If it's too thin, I can actually add more beef broth at this time and make that, um, I mean, if it's too thin, I wanna simmer. If it's too thick, I wanna add some beef broth. Hope I said that right. Anyway, now I'm just gonna add these mushrooms and the onions to this dish and we'll finish it up, so. In go my mushrooms. Mm. Now traditionally this is served over a boiled potato or steamed potato or you can do it with um, buttered noodles or even rice and I'm gonna do it with the pasta today. Okay now your onions if you want to see I like to get this down to where the pan, the liquid is mostly evaporated and the pan is almost dry. I could even let that go for a few minutes more, but since we're ready, let's go ahead and put it in. Mmm, fantastic. So I'll put this over here with the meat. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is gonna be so good. So I'm going to serve this beef bourguignon over the noodles that are already cooked 
and it's just such a delicious dish goes well with the potatoes or whatever so there's your yummy yummy beef and that sauce and these mushrooms now garlic is fantastic in here when you're stir frying your carrots and potatoes you could put in a tablespoon or a teaspoon even of minced garlic and tomato paste is another thing goes really well with the red wine and add that about that same time five hours later or so you can really dig in and enjoy this dish beef bourguignon is one that tastes fantastic the next day or the day after so make up a bunch have leftovers throw it in the freezer and enjoy with a nice piece of crusty bread.